Hi, today we're going to talk more about pivot tables. and uh, Specifically, I want to talk about how to consolidate multiple data ranges, is what Excel calls them, or data in multiple locations. Maybe it's different places on the same spreadsheet, maybe it's in different tabs, maybe it's even in different spreadsheets. But if you've got multiple sets of data you want to put in one pivot table, here's how to do it, or at least part one of how to do it. It's a fairly complicated process. The trick to do it is to get the pivot table wizard involved. And the first problem in Excel 2007 is that it's not in the menus any place in the pivot tables. So today's lesson is just some basic setup things of how we're going to do this. This button here will allow you to customize what they call the quick access toolbar. It's this area up here. And if you say, hey, you know, that you can decide some basic things you want to put in that quick access toolbar. This is how I got undo and redo in my toolbar. And you can minimize the, the ribbon or show this toolbar below the ribbon. What we want to do is more commands. And under more commands, there's a whole list of commands. First, you can choose popular commands that aren't in the ribbon. We're going to go to all commands. And we're going to go down through here and look for the P's. And what we want is pivot table and pivot chart wizard. And if you highlight it and click add, that's how I got pivot table and pivot chart wizard up in my menu. So here's the wizard. I want to show you a little bit about what the data looks like and how I formatted it before I go in. What I'm trying to do is get similar looking data in my three example spreadsheets. What I have is a north, a south, and a west PL. And if you look at them, what you can see is I have the, a revenue category and I have some expense categories, total expenses, and a net income or loss. You'll notice that I don't have any spaces, any extra rows between the revenue and all of these expenses. You'll also notice that the revenues here are negative so that at the end of the day I can take the revenues less the expenses and get to a profit and loss. If the revenues were positive just like the expenses were positive, there's no way for me to quickly and easily go back and say, all right, take revenues, less expenses, and here's my income. So what I have here is North Profit and Loss Statement. Here's South with the very same format. They don't have to be in the same order. I did it to keep them easy, at least to start with. And then Monthly Amounts, and here's West. You'll also notice if we scroll over a little bit, I've got a total that basically just sums all of these categories. I've also got um, a total expense here and a net income or loss here. That's what we're going to play with in part two. When we get to part two, we're going to click this pivot table and we're going to walk through this wizard and see how this multiple consolidation ranges work and some of the options. That's enough to get started. We'll cancel out of here, and I'll see you back for the next lesson. Thanks for watching.